Gabby, Michael, it might be mild out today and we do have the window open, but with no air conditioning on, it is definitely getting toasty inside this car right now and it doesn't make it safer. According to experts, last year, the first hot car death of the year was at 52 degrees. The problem is when the windows are up, it creates a greenhouse effect and because children's temperatures can raise three to five times faster than adults, even a few minutes can be deadly. Her sitter was running errands. She inadvertently forgot that she was with her and left her in the back seat of the car. Diona Bayan's daughter Aslan was just a year old when she passed away. She would have been 14 this year. What I'd like to reach is the parents who think that this can't happen to them because it can. It happened to me. It happened to other parents that were loving and caring. Since 2004, Diona has been an advocate trying to make sure Aslan's death wasn't in vain. She's working with kidsandcars.org trying to make it mandatory for cars to have alerts reminding parents when children are unknowingly left behind. And these are 100% predictable and 100% preventable tragedies. So, you know, we work as hard as we can to do everything to prevent them. That legislation was introduced Wednesday, but the change, if it goes through, would require regulation to be set within two years. This is, it's very important that we get this done right away because, you know, 37 children are dying on average every year and we just can't wait. Kids in Cars says it got backup cameras required in 2008, but all cars won't be required to have those until next year. They say the sooner this act gets passed through, the sooner lives can be saved. We have alerts that we have a dead battery or that we need gas or that our seat belts aren't buckled, but what's missing is that we have precious cargo in our cars. Now in 2015, a South Carolina law passed making it illegal to sue anyone for property damage if it is in the event of trying to save a human life. Coming up at 6 on WYFF News 4, I'll tell you what the laws are regarding pets in hot cars. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4, live in Greenville.